What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellists' job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. John's team, what do you think the nation should be talking about this week? Oof. Is it uh, The X Factor? <gasps> There's a new TV show, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brand new they, show. They call it The X Factor. <laughs> right. And they get these singers, and I, I mean, it's too early to tell what's going to happen next. <laughs> Also, you use the word singers in inverted commas. Yeah. I've stopped doing them, I just do it with my speech now. These, these singers, or professional crying penises. <laughs> <laughs> they're crying already. It's going to get worse. I don't, it's, it's not, they're not even crying when there's bad news, they're crying when there's good news. The guy, Ryland, have you seen this, Hannah? Ryland. The guy, it, Ryland <laughs> isn't a proper name as well, that's Ryan with an, <laughs> <laughs> It's Ryan with an L in it for no reason at all. <laughs> But last week he cried because he got through. He didn't sort of he cry though, because there were no tears. He just sort of went. <laughs> 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 Sounds like me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Rylan, it's such a big risk that I have to take it. And you're in my final We've all been there. That is what I look like watching Talisa's sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Rylan, he said to Nicole, he said, I'm not crying at you. <laughs> and he literally, it, it was a very offensive burst of, of anguish. She was crying at her, on her, in her a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't drink the water around the X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they put something in the tea, and you can get the most hard-hearted person, well, drink the tea and just go... <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a pigeon. <laughs> If there is a drink that makes you cry, it's almost certain that Heston made it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a special type of tea that brings melancholy. <laughs> it, and it's actually made with melons and collie dogs. <laughs> <laughs> of course it bloody is, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just... Don't they just call that, like, red wine? Isn't that what you drink to cry? I drink red wine, I bore my eyes out for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. What have you got to cry about? All your dreams have come true. <laughs> <laughs> you don't your know what my dreams are. Your sock drawers are immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> You've you got a cardi and people listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I cry because my dreams have come true. Yeah. <laughs> No, like New Did you cry when you were the best in the world at something? No. I would lose not my at shit. All. Not at all. Like... Well, can I have it then? Yeah. <laughs> Just Cheers. for one. Don't, don't tear. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that we were meant to bring our gold medals with us. <laughs> I like the fact you bought both of them. Well, you see, just, just in case you want to lick the other one as well. <laughs> Do you lick these? <laughs> oh, I've already licked you your... I've already... And you've whoa, already... whoa, finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I've licked Hannah's gold medal. <laughs> and, and Jimmy was there at the time. It was the night that you won. You came on, you came on Channel 4 after you won the... Uh, was it the 100 and 200 the same day? No, they were a week apart, but I think it was... <laughs> All right. Let's have a little look at Hannah in action. And surely this is going to be just a question of how fast can she get close to the world record. She's being roared all the way. An amazing performance. Everybody is standing already. She's getting an ovation. The flashlights are going off. The only question is, what time will it be? Can she go close to the world record? Unbelievable performance. She held her nerve.
off with a plum. And once again, we are saluting a British champion. There's this company called Cash for Gold. I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> you can get an envelope big enough. I think you're set for life. <laughs> Back to the X Factor. What else? Has anyone They've been watching? To, they went to the judges' houses last week. There was this situation where they found a couple having sex in one of the bushes at Gary's house. And they said, what had happened? They said, oh, we were just having a picnic and got carried away. <laughs> that, that's not a thing. If, if I'm having a picnic and get carried away, I have a second scone. That's what I do. <laughs> Never do you go a pepperoni? Well, I'll see you in the bushes. Uh... They might have found a flask of X Factor tea. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a bit of it, and Gary Barlow says to one of the contestants, like, who's going to buy your records? And uh, obviously the contestants too nervous to say, they just went... <laughs> but what they should have said was the same <laughs> idiots that buy yours. <laughs> I think what's quite interesting about it is that surely by now then the contestants must have sussed the show out. They all go, this is the most important, most special thing, most amazing, this is life-changing experience. You go, haven't you seen the show? Even if you win, by February, nobody knows who you are. <laughs> yeah, but at best, X Factor is a gap year from Argos. <laughs> <laughs> the names of the groups, one of them is called Union J, because they used to be called Triple J, but someone joined the group whose name started with G. <laughs> so they thought Union J would be the best way to go. That doesn't explain it. <laughs> and it would be a better name if you just called it like JJGJ. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at JJGJ. -J -J. <laughs> they might as well call them a slightly different direction. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if X Factor is up there. <laughs> yes, the X Factor live finals have begun. X Factor is very different this year. Oh, no, hang on. No, it isn't.